All right, so at this time, we're going to go ahead and begin with our cause roundup event. And I'm going to talk, turn it over to Dr. Adu for the welcome. Dr. Adu. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I'm looking at the number of participants and we just crossed the hundred. So this is great. This is great, yeah. Uh, I wanna thank uh, uh, Mrs. Jackie Sanders, you know, for organizing this uh, run up, which I believe is for both returning and uh, uh, returning and new students into the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences. Uh, especially, I want to thank our new students. Uh, I think we have a, a record number uh, this year in terms of freshmen uh, who have enrolled in the college as well as. Uh, 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 transfer students, uh, but I am uh, Dr. Kweku Ado, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Associate Dean and also the Department Head in the college. So welcome to all of our new students as well as uh, our returning students to the 2021-2022 academic year. I know we are dealing with the challenges of the pandemic. You know, last week, uh, I know it wasn't a, a, a fun for most of you in terms of trying to find where you're uh, lecture rooms are and all that, uh, but hopefully things have settled down and uh, uh, you are right on track in terms of moving on with your uh, uh, coursework this semester. Uh, again, as you know, the pandemic is still with this, uh, so I entreat all of you to take all the necessary precautions, uh, wear your mask, and try to keep your social distance as possible as you can uh, so as to keep all of this uh, safe. Uh, we in the college here are uh, uh, here to support you and to help you meet all of the challenges uh, that you are facing and all are going to face uh, in the future. But we are here to support you in whatever way we can. Uh, uh, what I'd like to do before I turn over to the Dean uh, is to ask you to take advantage of the several opportunities uh, that are on campus as well as in the college. Uh, to enhance your success. You know, opportunities such as undergraduate research, you know, reach out to faculty uh, in the uh, research unit, as well as scientists, and find out about uh, research opportunities that are there. Uh, global learning, you know, study abroad, number of opportunities for students to study abroad, uh, which forms part of what we call high impact educational practices, practices that studies I've shown that largely uh, help students to succeed, uh, internship opportunities. And then within campus, uh, we have academic advising services. Um, we have the university uh, tutoring center, the writing center, academic alert, and some of the other resources uh, that are in your syllabus that uh, your professor shared with you at the beginning of the semester. Uh, we encourage you to be active in extracurricular activities, okay? Join clubs, and then I think uh, we have uh, club advisors and others uh, that would come on later, but join clubs organizations, uh, uh, because again, uh, you just not, don't wanna be just in the classroom, but engage yourself in extracurricular activities uh, to make your world around the student. Again, uh, we thank you for choosing the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences. I uh, welcome you. At this point, I want to uh, turn over to our Dean, Dr. Gerald D'Souza, you know, to bring some words to you. Mm -hmm. Gerald. Great. Thank you very much, Dr. Addo. And uh, uh, I also bring you greetings on behalf of the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences. My name is Gerard D'Souza. I have the pleasure and privilege of being the Dean of this college. And uh, so excited to have a new crop of students join us, uh, 80 first-time freshmen which is a record for us, and 24 transfer students to add to our total, which is also a record of almost 450 students. So that is uh, really terrific. Uh, I applaud the academic team, Dr. Kwe Koo and my faculty and staff colleagues who have tuned in, but also fellow students, because at the end of the day, you folks are uh, uh, word of mouth uh, advertising for the college based on the experiences you get here. So it's important to take advantage of all of the experiences that Dr. Addo alluded to. Uh, we've got 
uh, an 800 acre farm. We've got a new meat lab. We've got new greenhouses, uh, a lot of labs. So whatever your interest is uh, outside of the classroom, it could be working in the student led garden. It could be working in a lab, could be working with animals, either goats or cattle, uh, uh, working under the um, tutelage or advisement of a faculty member in his or her research lab. And of course, study abroad. Uh, earlier this week, uh, our newest study abroad partner is a university in Greece. Uh, so we are very excited to add this to our portfolio of study abroad opportunities, Jamaica, Costa Rica, other countries. Um, and so I do want to uh, wish you all much success uh, and uh, hopefully um, join the ranks of the students who graduate. Uh, and again, last uh, spring, we had the distinction of graduating almost uh, 60 students, if I remember right, also an all-time record. So we're adding new curricula as we speak, new master's programs. We've got some new scholarship programs, uh, but most of all, we have a very talented group of faculty and staff, as well as uh, students. Uh, we have student ambassadors and other students who could be useful mentors to help you along. Uh, those of you who've been affected by Hurricane uh, Ida, uh, our hearts go out to you or your families, uh, perhaps in Louisiana, Mississippi, if anyone has been affected. Uh, we very much have you in our prayers and thoughts. And um, lastly, I want to talk a little bit about the new partnerships that we're establishing with corporations. Uh, Cargill, Dow, uh, Microsoft. Uh, recently, we had a conversation with Growmark. Uh, and, and they do uh, commodities and uh, corn and so on. So the idea is that they want to reach out and employ our students initially as interns and potentially down the road careers in Cargill and some of these other agribusinesses and government agencies also. Um, uh, we have partnerships with them. So lots of opportunities, but limited time. And uh, for me anyway, and I'm going to pass it back to uh, Ms. Sanders. And thanks again to uh, our faculty and staff for chiming in. Welcome again to our new students. So welcome back to our continuing students. Stay safe, be well, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thank you. Thank you, Dean D'Souza and Dr. Adu for those welcoming words. At this time, students, we are going to move on to getting to know the administrative staff in this department, um, our program leaders. Is everyone seeing my PowerPoint? Just wanna make sure that the right screen is populating. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so on the screen, we have our new program chairs for the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences. We have Dr. Sharon McWinney, who's over nutrition and food, nutrition and food security program. Dr. Noel Eswick, who's over the Human Sciences Program. Dr. Milton Daly, over the Animal and Veterinary Sciences Program. And Dr. Aruna Wurisoria, over Plant and Environmental Sciences Program. If those individuals are on, would you please um, introduce yourselves and then tell us a little bit about your program areas so that the students know who to contact for their areas of interest. Shall I start? This is, uh, my name is Aruna Virasurya, uh, program uh, chair uh, in plant and environmental sciences. And uh, my office is in the Cooperative Agriculture Research Center, room 118. And uh, you can get all the information from uh, the website if you need to contact me. And also uh, I need uh, you to, um, look for the volunteer opportunities. We have a lot of uh, volunteer opportunities to work in the student-led garden and various uh, field research projects uh, in the plant and environmental sciences, and also to get uh, uh, a laboratory experience uh, uh, while you are studying here. And we have uh, a lot of uh, cutting edge uh, research going on using uh, state of the art uh, machinery and uh, to get hands on experience uh, uh, will improve your experiences uh, uh, here in prayer review so if you need any help don't hesitate to contact uh, me 
uh, in the office or the phone or email. Thanks very much. I'm looking forward to work with you all. Thank you, Dr. Wersurian. Dr. Eswick, Dr. McWinney, or Dr. Daly, if you're available. You're all muted. So if you want to, whoever wants to go, please unmute him. Dr. Daly, are you there? Maybe you can go. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I just came on back. Um, I had a little issue with my computer, but uh, my name is Milton Daly. I'm a coordinator of the uh, Animal Agriculture Program, also the program chair for Animal and Pre-Vet Medicine. Uh, welcome to the Hill, and I'm expecting great things from the, 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 the new students. Um, welcome to the College of Agriculture. And uh, I just want you to give it your best shot. Remember you're a student first, and I want you to do everything in your powers to get that degree at the end of the day. Okay, whatever issues you have, please um, come see us. and We'll help you to get through your difficult times. Okay, so with that, I'll just say welcome and congratulations on getting into Prairie. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Daly. I do know that Dr. McWinney had another meeting, so it may uh, yeah. be holding her. Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. McWinney, go ahead. For some reason my office is dark. Hi, everyone. Let me say welcome to the College of Ag and Human Sciences. Um, this is, and has, this will be and has been a challenging semester so far, but I just wanna give you some words of encouragement to say that we're here to assist you in any way we can that's possible. Uh, should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of the faculty or the staff and we will do our utmost to, to assist you as you go through, as you go along the semester. Work hard. Yeah, get some play in, of course. Socialization is, is a must. However, let's all be aware that uh, COVID does exist and it's still a problem. So let's bear that in mind as we go through our classes and as we interact with each other. So again, I'm happy to meet all of you via Zoom, and hopefully throughout the semester, we'll be seeing each other either in a classroom or in the hallway or on the campus somewhere. So whatever you do, try to have a great semester. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McWayne. So students, here again are the pictures of the um, faculty that are over those individual programs. So if you have any interest in those programs, please look for these um, individuals and contact them um, to let them know your interest so that they can also help you out in those areas. Next, we move on to our academic advisors. So the academic advisors for the human nutrition and food area are Ms. Cherie Store, myself, Jacqueline Sanders and Ms. Christine Ranieri. Ms. Storr is the advisor for um, freshmen and sophomore for all concentrations. I am the advisor for health and wellness and food service management concentrations for juniors and seniors. And then Ms. Ranieri is the advisor for individuals that are on the registered dietitian track that are juniors and seniors. So it's important, even though you may not have met myself or Ms. Ranieri, to kind of come in and touch bases with us, let us know what your interests are so that we can make sure that you're on the right track um, and the, in the area that you're wanting to be as far as your career. We wanna make sure that you're, you're um, taking the right courses, make sure you come in and see us early. Um, also stay in contact with Ms. Dora who is the an advisor for the freshmen through, um, sorry, sophomore students. Um, make sure you're staying in contact with all of us so that you're on the right track toward graduation. Ms. Storr or Ms. Ranieri, would you like to have any words at this time? Hello, everybody. My name is Jerry Storr. Welcome, welcome. Um, welcome to the new school 
academic year. I've met most of you all. Um, it was such a wonderful um, meeting, whether it was on the phone or via Zoom. I, especially the new students, they expressed their passion for you know, the different concentrations they are seeking. Um, so I would just like to say, I want you to um, schedule a meeting with me so we can um, at least schedule a meeting with me at least once or twice each semester. So we can discuss goals, um, your, your goals and check in with me so we can follow up on the progress towards achieving those goals. Um, we have a lot of um, support services um, available on the campus. So we encourage you to take advantage of all these opportunities to develop yourself to, to um, you know, utilize as many of the students' resources and support services available to you. So you should be getting some um, information shortly. I think some information is coming out tonight about how you can um, schedule an advising appointment with me. Also, um, I think you should have already received some tutoring information. Um, also, there's a, a lot of, um, there's a lot of success workshops going on right now. One started yesterday, um, you know, different topics like effective communication with professors. That's a great one to try and attend. Um, they have what, uh, what is studying. Another topic, my notes are a mess and, you know, you have professional, um, presenters who will help you to navigate with these different soft skills. So please um, take advantage of those workshops, schedule yourself, and they're running um, right up until November the 16th. So they started yesterday and they would end um, November 16th. So I would just like to say to encourage you to, you know, you're going to have obstacles. They always in our way, but we need to work through our obstacles. It's important that we, you know, work through them. And if you have issues with working through them, try and get some help. Um, we are help to, we are here to help you um, succeed because um, it's very important that you complete your program and graduate. And that's what we are uh, vying for, completion and graduation. So continue to stay safe and welcome to the Hill. Thank you, Ms. Dorn. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Christine Ranieri. I'm the director of our registered dietitian track here at Prairie View a &M. If I'm your advisor, if you're on the RD track, I won't start formally advising you until you're a junior or a senior. But if you're interested in becoming a registered dietitian and you're still just a new student here, a freshman, sophomore, or a transfer, please contact me. I'll work in conjunction with Mrs. Storr to make sure that you're on um, the right path to transfer eventually to the registered dietitian track. So welcome to Prairie View. I look forward to meeting all of you in class or in my office. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mr. Neary. All right, at this time, we're going to move on to the agriculture side. So here are your advisors for agriculture. You also have Ms. Dorr that is working with the uh, students on the agriculture side, Dr. Wash Jones, Dr. Milton Daly, Dr. Griffin, and Do um, Dr. Alfred Parks. So if you, those individuals, if you would like to have words, you can. I'd like to say good afternoon. I'm Ross Jones. I look forward to working with you all uh, through your academic career here. And uh, I do want to encourage you all and remind you all to make sure that you register for the courses that have been approved by your advisor and that you don't go out 
and just register for something that you think might work because a lot of times that could cause problems and also your courses that you register for now are connected to your financial aid. So if you're in the wrong course, it may affect your financial aid. So please make sure that you stay in touch with your advisor. As Ms. Storr suggested, don't just wait until registration time to be in touch with your advisor, but be in touch with them often during the semester so that you can stay on course. Also, I'm, uh, I lead the process for graduation audits, so I would like to assist you in that effort as well so that when we get to that point of graduation that we don't have a problem uh, with your graduation. So I look forward to meeting all of you and working with you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Hello, I'm Richard Griffin. I work with the Student Center in Plant and Soil Science and also students that need the electives that are in the Animal and Food Sciences program. I uh, look forward to working with each of you and uh, my door is open. Feel free to come by. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Griffin. Dr. Daly or Dr. Parks. Hello, I'm Al Parks. Uh, let me say to the new students, freshmen and transfers, welcome to Prairie View, welcome to the Hill. Uh, if you're a freshman, as chances are, I won't see much of you this semester, but one thing I wanna say that's extremely important that I've heard already, make sure that you check in with your academic advisor, make sure you get a copy of your degree plan and you go over it and you keep that with you. That's extremely important to getting off to a good start and to make sure that you stay on track with the courses that you need. I'm available mostly by appointment, my office, I do have an office in the agribusiness building, but I spend most of my time now in the agricultural research building. So reach out to me by appointment, preferably if you need to contact me and I'll be available to meet you either in my office or at a predetermined location. Thank you, Dr. Good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. Uh, of course, I uh, advise the seniors and juniors and also the pre-vet group. So um, if you have any questions as it relates to those areas, please feel free to contact me. Um, my office number is 307 on the third floor of the agriculture building. Okay, until then, I'll see you soon. Thank you, Dr. Daly. All right, so now we're going to move on to the introduction of our administrative staff. So our administrative staff include Ms. Stacy Gilley, Ms. Yolanda Jones, Ms. Inez Simeon, Ms. Jamae Cameron, and Ms. Kelly Redmond. If you all are available, please go ahead and introduce yourself and what you do in the department. Good afternoon, I am Yolanda Jones. I am the admin uh, for Dr. Addo. Um, I assist all the other faculty and I'm here also to assist all students. I welcome y'all to the fall 21 semester. I hope that y'all all, all um, are ready for it. I know we are. <laughs> um, I am here also, um, I assist with uh, some form of registration um, with uh, overrides. Um, I prepare the courses that y'all are enrolled in. Um, I'm just here if you need to talk or you need help with anything, I am here to assist you in any way that I can. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jones. Hello. Is this a good time, Ms. Sanders? Good time. Good. I can't see myself, but that's okay. I am trying to catch up um, and do help all of our students get ahead, um, get some of those answers that they're looking for. I am Dr. D'Souza's assistant uh, in 405 in the Ag Business Building and uh, just part of the administrative associate team. Happy to help and y'all stop by the office anytime. Thank you, Stacey. Yes, ma'am.
Miss Cameron or Miss Redmond or Miss Simeon did tell me she her computer just went down, so she may not be able to get on in time. But if any of the other admin staff are available. Dr. D'Souza, I think you had someone you wanted to introduce to everyone. Not sure. If not, our administrative staff are located in the agriculture business building on the third floor or the fourth floor. So if you're um, ever in need, we'll, we will direct, anyone in the department will direct you where to go. So that's no problem. We're gonna move right along. And we're gonna talk about some of the available tutoring services that are, are, are available for our students. Ms. Storr did mention a lot of these services. Um, there are services in the library. Um, we will, uh, we're planning to have some virtual hours, um, tutoring hours by our cause ambassadors, and you'll learn a little bit more about that program here later. And then we will be having some tutors for the nutrition um, students. Some of the um, ag faculty may also provide tutors, so you can contact your um, professors in, on the agriculture side. Um, regarding tutoring services when they're needed. So once this information is available, it will be posted for you to view and uh, made uh, available to you. And we just wanted to make sure that you knew about those services. And especially with the library services, they do have a 24 seven um, service to our students. So you're, you, always, you will always be able to get some type of assistance um, to assist you with your classes. Uh, Mrs. Sanders, uh, maybe before you move on to uh, introducing the student organization, uh, you know, the, uh, I see some graduate faculty on, so maybe if you want to acknowledge, uh, I see Dr. Foster, I don't know okay. if any other graduate faculty member is there. Then I think uh, Dr. Estwick also joined us uh, a short while ago, so if you want them to. Great, yeah. Great sure. Um, so we'll start um, with Dr. Estwick. Dr. Eswick, if you would like to introduce yourself, we did have an introduction of the program chairs earlier. So if you would like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your program before we move to the graduate area. Yes, thank you, thank you Ms. Sanders. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm sorry I was late. I was walking back to my office from another uh, meeting. Uh, so I first wanna say welcome to our new and transfer students. Uh, welcome to the college and to the Hill. And Welcome back uh, to our returning students. Um, as you heard, my name is Noel Estrick. I am the chair of the Human Sciences Program. And so under that program, we have the Masters in Human Sciences, the Agribusiness Concentration and Human Development. I just wanna uh, echo some of, my office is located in the Cooperative Agriculture Research Center or CARC. Uh, so it's across from the um, engineering, across from the student park. That, that's where I'm located in 115. Most of you will not see me this semester, at least the new ones, because um, I teach sophomore and um, junior and senior classes. So this semester I'm teaching uh, junior level class. So I wouldn't see you until next semester. But I want to wish you a, a good semester. Um, as everyone else has echoed, I want to uh, wish you a safe semester, uh, safe, safe. Um, remember, we encourage you to wear your mask and um, cannot say, uh, repeat too many times to be diligent. Uh, please don't procrastinate. Uh, do your assignments on time um, and early so that you can get, get it out of the way. And I also want to mention another opportunity um, within the college. I don't know if uh, Dr. Adol spoke about the high impact practices, but you know, one we speak about a lot is uh, study abroad. And so I want to encourage you to plan to do one of at least one of the study abroad um, programs here that, that we have within the college. Again, welcome. And it's, um, I look forward to meeting everyone. Thank you, Dr. Edward. At this time, we'll move to the introduction of some of our graduate um, professors, Dr. Foster. If you would like to introduce yourself and have words and any other uh, graduate faculty that is available. 
Okay. I don't know that you can. Oh, you can't see me. All right. Uh, so hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Lauren Foster, a graduate faculty member uh, in the human sciences program. Uh, so um, just sending everybody greetings today. Uh, if you're at all interested uh, in doing work with uh, families, couples, anybody uh, really uh, along the lines of mental health, um, that is, that's what we do in the human sciences graduate program. Um, so again, for those of you who are, you know, kind of forward thinking and, and planning out for the future, uh, we are here for that uh, and to kind of assist you in, in figuring out uh, where you would like to go in terms of working in the huge field of mental health and, and figuring out what that looks like. So um, I'm excited to see you all today. Uh, you all are kind of well on your way and and charting your own path. And so if, if I or anybody else in the graduate program can be of assistance, you know, we're more than happy to do so. So we're all here on the fourth floor of the building and, uh, you know, if you all can, can come up and see us. Thank you, Dr. Foster. Are there any other graduate faculty? Okay. If not, I can't tell there's too many people to scroll through, but if not, <laughs> we're going to move right along. All right, so we now move to the point of talking about our uh, student organizations. So we have five student organizations within the college, and let me just share those really quick. So we have our pre vet Club, Kappa Omicron New Honor Society, Manners, Sand, and the Garden Club. So Manners is um, Minorities in Natural Resources and Related Sciences, and Sand is students and the Student Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So I have a member from each of these organizations um, that are available to talk about each one of the organizations, what they do, and I'll have a link to provide here shortly for you to, to kind of decide which organization you want to join so you can provide your information to that organization. So at this time, I would like to go ahead and start with um, our cause ambassadors, which is actually not on here. So our cause ambassadors, Ms. Christina Edwards. Ms. Sanders. Yes. I have a quick, are we not doing livestock this year? I'm sorry. Yes, that may be one. I've left off of the list. Thank you, Kenny. No so livestock. Was, is also an organization, one of our student organizations. Are you a part of Livestock, Kenny? Say again? Are you a part of the Livestock Club? At the, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know, but I can speak on it though. Okay, so I do not have them on the list. So if you could speak on the Livestock Club, please go ahead. All right, so basically what the Livestock Club is, basically if you did FFA in high school, basically just show uh, the goats here, because you know, PV is known for the International Goat Research Center. So we basically show at the Houston Rodeo, you can get the, you can also work for the Houston Rodeo. It's like a internship type of thing. We uh, teach you how to basically show, we teach you how to clip. And you also can assist with the like, the basically kidding season when they give birth to the young. And basically to get experience off there. So if you want to be a vet or you just want to work with animals long term, you get experience like that as well. Okay. Thank you, um, Kenny Williams, to be correct, Mr. Williams. Thank you so much for sharing the information about the the livestock club. I have a question. I'm sorry. Um, it's about the livestock. If you didn't do FFA in high school, can you still join or? Yes, you still can join. We have people that's not even ag majors that are in the organization. So you're more okay. than welcome to join the organization. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. No and how do you join that? Say again? So I, how do you join it? Honestly, no, I, I gotta, I'm gonna reach out to the old president to see how we're gonna get that organization back up and running. So is it just goats or is it like a steer and other livestock? Yeah, it just goes for right now. It just goes for right now because we we trying to get uh we was trying to get the cattle, but that's like more 
like a liability because you can get, really get hurt working with cattle. So we try to stick with like a safe animal, basically. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Kenny. Um, I'm going to provide a link at the very end once all of the student organizations present so that you can, it's a survey actually, where you can go in and provide your information and which organizations you have interest in joining. And then those organizations will reach out to you to provide more information on how to join, what, what they have planned for this semester or for the year, and then you can go from there. All right, so our next organization, um, the Cause Ambassadors. Christina okay, hi, everybody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Christina. I'm a senior nutrition major here at Prairie View. Um, so just a little bit, a little bit about the Cause Ambassadors. We're basically the face of the college. So anything that the dean may need help with, uh, assisting with, we'll help with that. Um, there'll be a lot of different volunteer opportunities um, and basically just assisting any of the other organizations. Or if we have a joint um, program that we'll all do together, we'll probably be um, doing that together and also partner with other organizations like KO New or SAND or some of the other ones. So that's basically what we do. And also we do like tutoring, like Ms. Sanders said, that'll be a part of the organization this year if you all can help in your classes. Also, I would like to add recruiting. So the cause ambassadors do go out to different um, events and set up tables. They can recruit um, for the department, for the program, and anything else that the dean, the dean sees necessary for the cause ambassadors to be a part of. All right, so that's a little bit about the cause ambassadors. Again, you're the face of the department. Um, so we definitely wanna make sure that you're involved in everything cause related. All right, we're going to move to the um, Honor Society, Kappa Omicron New Honor Society. Christina. So, yeah, I'm also part of the KO New, which is Kappa Omicron New. It's an honor society for the human sciences. So, for example, I'm nutrition and dietetics. That's my major. So I fit in along with that. But also, ag majors can join, too. I'm sure anybody can join if you want to get, like I said, more um, volunteer opportunities, um, just insight on career opportunities, um, what else, professional development and things of that sort. Okay, thank you, Christina. Manners, Ms. Kyla Peer. Hello everyone, my name is Kyla Peer and I'm a senior agriculture major with a concentration in agribusiness. And I'm also the president of Manners this year. So Manners is a great organization. I've been in it since my second semester of my freshman year. And basically the mission of Manners is to promote academic and professional advancement by empowering minorities in agriculture, natural resources and related sciences. So we hold a lot of different events throughout the school year. We have volunteer opportunities. We do resume workshops. We do professional dress workshops. We also have guest speakers come in and they talk about graduate school. Also, as well as like future careers. What do you want to do in the future? And then we also, the two main things that we do are regional and national conference. And basically when you go there, we travel. We were supposed to go to Minnesota before COVID. But before that, we went to Kansas City, Missouri, and we had an amazing time. And when you go, you get to network with other students who are also in manners, as well as attend different seminars to just better yourself as a professional individual. And lastly, there's a career fair at the, during, throughout the conference. And during that, we have many students who come with us who end up getting internships, as well as job offers as well. And in this conference, basically, in order to be able to go, we have, they have different like events and they have like a photography competition, an elevator speech competition, essay competition, quiz bowl competition, which we actually won two years ago. So, and there's all these different competitions and they come with cash prizes as well. So basically we're just a great professional organization to join and we would love to have y'all. Our first meeting should be coming up pretty soon. Once we get the date, we'll put it out and we would love to have y'all come and join. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pierre. Our next organization, SAND. Ms. Ranieri. 
Hi, everyone. So I, for those of you who, who signed on a little late, my name is Christine Ranieri. I'm a faculty member in the nutrition department, and I'm the faculty advisor along with Mrs. Sanders for SAN, which is the Student Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. It's basically our student nutrition club. It's open to all students at Prairie View. So even if you're an ag major, we'd, we'd love to see you. We host events like nutrition and health related events. So in the past, we've done things like we've hosted a nutrition fear factor event. We've um, taught cooking classes. Uh, we've, we've hosted some like exercise classes or competitions. Um, so our mission is basically to have fun and to socialize and to learn more about the field of nutrition and dietetics and um, to kind of spread the word about healthy eating um, around the, the Prairie View campus and to provide opportunities for uh, leadership and for professional development. Thank you, Ms. Ranieri. The Garden Club, Mr. Bryson Farrell. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Bryson Farrell and I am a senior agriculture animal science major with a concentration in food. Um, so about the garden club, um, uh, even though we are not like a livestock club, um, we do teach people how to garden, the importance of gardening, um, with the year 2050 coming along and, um, and with the population uh, growing to almost 9 billion people, um, somebody has to feed uh, the world. So why not us? Um, if you have never gardened before. Uh, don't worry. Uh, we will teach you how to garden um, with our uh, uh, with our wonderful professors um, who are in the um, agronomy uh, field. And then with that, uh, the food that we grow, um, we uh, do our farmers market, and we sell our products uh, to not only um, uh, to not only the students on the university campus and the staff, but also to uh, the surrounding areas of Prairie View as well too. So. Thank you, Mr. Farrell. And our last organization, pre vet Club, Ms. Kennedy Matthews. Hello, everyone. My name is Kennedy Matthews. I'm a senior agriculture major, um, concentration in animal food science, and food science but uh, my focus is pre vet um, I am the acting president of the Pre-Veterinary Medical Club, but it's more commonly known as the Pre-Vet Club. Our main goal is to assist students in getting prepared to take their very first steps into any animal science uh, career field. Uh, we have been successful in sending our members to vet schools all across uh, the country. And we have negotiated uh, MOUs with various vet schools. So they have spots waiting for us. We, we are one of the best schools in sending um, students off into vet school, uh, especially minority students. Um, we offer multiple opportunities um, to gain knowledge and hands-on experience uh, via hosting graduate school or company speakers. Uh, we take trips to zoos, to the Houston Zoo specifically. Um, we assist uh, the SPCA and different animal shelters when they host uh, events where they need volunteers to help. Um, and then we also volunteer at uh, different animal clinics to gain uh, clinical hours and animal hours. Uh, it, uh, so, so much more. We host our own events um, as well as join in and help other organizations, um, especially the other ag organizations. Uh, we have vet prep meetings, GRE prep uh, to help wet labs where we do dissections. Um, so basically anything uh, animal science related, this is the club that you would want to join to get that experience and that um, hands-on uh, type of class that you wouldn't necessarily get through just um, going to animal science classes uh, here. Um, but we also strive to make sure that our members have a strong bond and that as you're going through this college experience, you know that you're surrounded by people that understand your goal and also are striving for similar uh, goals. So if you're interested in joining the club, you can reach out to me or our advisor, Dr. Daly, he's mentioned himself a couple of times. <laughs> He's widespread, but he really, really helps the uh, pre vet club. Um, my number is, I don't know if we're supposed to give out our number right now, but <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you can just reach me or Dr. Daly. Um, 
I will. I guess I'll get your you guys' number uh, and reach out to you guys. So let me say that. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ms. Matthews. All right, so okay. students, you have been advised of all of the student organizations that are available in the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences. I am now posting to the chat the survey to go in and provide information, your information to the student or and decide on which student organizations you would like to join. And we will get that information and we will reach back out to you. Okay, so the survey link is provided. Also, I see that Dr. D'Souza has also provided a link to the website um, that shows all of our student organizations. So that information is available in the chat as well. At this time, we're gonna move forward. We're almost at the end of what we wanted to share with you today. Um, before going to the scholarship opportunities, I would like to bring up Mr. O.C. Miles. Um, he's with the Study Abroad Office, and he's going to talk with you about the Study Abroad Opportunities. Mr. Miles? Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, hello. How's it going today? Uh, my name is O.C. Miles. I'm a graduate assistant here in the International Programs uh, Department. Uh, so with studying abroad, there are a lot of benefits, such as per personal growth. Uh, you can develop as a global citizen and it elevates your career and professional opportunities. And it also allows you to see the world in a different light. Um, me, um, before I went to Dominican Republic and before I started uh, actually being interested in studying abroad, I kind of seen like, you know, many places I thought was poor. I actually thought that was poor until I ventured out and started to study about those countries and actually started to visit those countries. And I actually had, you know, a lot of personal experiences and. I actually still am connected highly with those individuals. And it also allowed me to um, want to pursue a career in um, international affairs. Um, so within the study abroad uh, office, we have two types of programs. We have faculty led programs and external uh, provider programs. So our faculty led programs are usually about one to three weeks and they usually are hosted spring break and summer sessions. And a lot of these programs are tied in within a class itself. Um, I, I think for the next semester for the agriculture department, uh, there is, we, I did see two programs coming up for the, uh, I think the spring semester for the agriculture department. Uh, and our external programs, basically our external programs, our program I went to is ex external. So with these programs, you have more of a flexibility of time. These programs, you can go during the summertime. These programs, you can actually have a semester. I know a couple of people who actually uh, went abroad for a whole semester. Um, the thing about the summer programs and, and a lot of these external programs is that the school can provide money for them, but you have to have it tied to a specific class. Now, if you don't wanna have a, um, take a class and you just want to go abroad and like I did and get the culture, th th there are still ways you can do that. And there's still a lot of programs that allow you to do that. But those uh, programs require outside funding, which uh, if you come to the study abroad office, we'll be able to help you with that funding and show you ways to be, you'll be able to get that money. So it is possible. Uh, we have a lot of resources available and a lot of scholarship opportunities and a lot of fellowship opportunities for those students uh, who would like to go abroad. Me personally, I didn't have to pay a dime out of pocket and I was gone for a whole month um, and the program actually gave me a lot of money because of uh, my GPA and my financial need. And a lot of programs are willing to help, you know, kids from HBCUs because they know a lot of kids uh, from my particular uh, area are not actually going abroad. So a lot of programs are actually trying to change that and encourage a lot of minorities to go abroad and see more uh, in the world of the world. Uh, I have a link that I'm gonna drop in the chat, but um, we do have appointments that you can book with the study abroad uh, office. And also for the month of September, Mondays from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. we have info sessions. So doing these info sessions, you can come learn about study abroad, learn about, uh, you know, you can actually bring up your uh, your degree plan to see what class you can take 
for the uh, faculty led programs. And we also could, you know, guide you into how to write essays to get you these scholarships that will potentially have your program be free. So uh, also feel free to follow us on the PV Goals Global page or within our Twitter and our Instagram. And one last thing, uh, we will have a study abroad fair September 21st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So we would love to see you there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Malice. For those who do not know where the study abroad office is, can you let them know where you're located? Oh, yeah. So our study abroad office is in May Hall, uh, room 120. And we're open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Okay, and for those who do not know where May Hall is, it is the building with all of the beautiful, colorful flags out front. Okay, um, that is the um, May Hall building. Okay, and you were going to drop your information in the chat, Mr. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. I'm dropping the Study Abroad uh, website. And on the Study Abroad website, you scroll down to the middle, there's where you can find the, uh, the link to apply for a, uh, uh, if you want to talk to us. So, Okay, so to make an appointment? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so that is information regarding study abroad. There are some opportunities. I know within the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences, there's like five different places that we uh, students attend um, for study abroad. If Dr. Eswick, if you're available, you may want to highlight those areas or you could highlight those areas for our department. If you're available. If not, um, the study abroad office is a, um, could tell you where they're planning, you know, with everything that's going on, I'm not sure where that is right now, but um, it is an opportunity. So just make an appointment and get some more information, apply for scholarships to attend and learn globally. Again, thank you, Mr. Miles. Thank All right, you. so we're, you're welcome. We're going to move over to scholarship opportunities. We're almost at the end of time. So if Dr. Jones, um, Mr. Forrest Hodge, if you're available to talk about those scholarship opportunities that are available for our students. I just want to say that scholarships are about excellence in some area. It could be academic or it could be some other talent or whatever. But uh, the important thing is deadlines, making sure you meet the deadlines. We have what's called the general scholarship here at the university. That deadline is usually in April for new students or May 1 for transfer of students. But there are other scholarship opportunities that come about during the semester. We ask that you watch your emails because we send scholarship opportunities out all the time. And it's very critical that if you are on scholarship currently, that you recognize the need to maintain excellence at a 3.0 GPA or better. Now, there are a few scholarships that allow you to have a 2.5, but most of them are 3.0 or better. So if you have any questions about specific scholarship opportunities, you may contact me in my office at 306 Ag Business Building. I'll let uh, Dr. Mr. Hodge speak about other opportunities. Thank you, Dr. Well, thank Jones. You, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Jones and, and Ms. Sanders. Uh, First of all, I want to say to the students, uh, welcome to the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences. If you see the, 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 my uh, uh, virtual uh, background, uh, it's the entrance of the campus and you have entered the promised land. It's not the promised land that we normally think of, but it is a promise that if you will seek your education and you will do the things that most of all of the uh, other presenters have said, we promise that we will get you out of here on time and you will have a productive career. We talk about scholarship, that's the money. Uh, I happen to manage uh, one of the most lucrative scholarships on campus, uh, thanks to the partnership between USDA and the uh, Purview Adam University. Um, I serve as the USDA liaison. Uh, we have a record number of students that are on this scholarship this year. Uh, we have eight and we have 10 returning. As a matter of fact, Purview Adam University will have the largest class of any of the 1890s. And so I encourage you, if you're a freshman or a sophomore, if you're on this, you will be able to apply. That announcement will be coming out sometime in October. The scholarship on a four-year uh, program is, is valued at over $100,000. And it comes with an internship. 
you do have to have a 3.0 uh, as a college student. And so uh, we welcome you to apply for that scholarship. In a few minutes, or a few days, uh, we'll be announcing the Greg Payne Scholarship. It is a scholarship for uh, 2.5 and better, but you, and especially for freshmen and sophomores and juniors, you cannot have more than 90 hours, and that is a 2.5. The way I like to present this scholarship is, is that if you were working, it takes you about two hours to put together a good scholarship package. And so in two hours, your rate of pay would be $500 an hour. And I think that's the way you need to look at that. Heritage, my three daughters came through this program, seeking the education, you have to seek that. You got great professors to do it. And I wanna say one thing that, that may not have been mentioned and I'll be very quick with this. And that is your catalog. It's an electronic catalog. Back in the day, they used to give you this catalog at freshman orientation. I used to treat that as your academic Bible. You heard the, you heard the phrase degree plan. And I know you need to follow that because that is your academic roadmap. I wish you a great semester, have fun, stay safe, and welcome to the College of Agriculture and Human Science. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Hodge. All right, so the last that we uh, wanted to talk with you students about, one is our dietetic internship, as well as our internship practicum program. I'm gonna highlight the dietetic internship program and it's now directed by Dr. Janet Antwi. And our dietetic internship program is located within the College of Agriculture and Human Sciences is under the nutrition department. It is the accreditation, it is accredited by the Accreditation Council for Education in Nutrition and Dietetics or ASCEND. And the nine degree dietetic internship consists of 1200 hours of supervised practice and 18 semester credit hours completed over the fall and spring semesters. Students who complete the dietetic internship will be verified for eligibility to write the registration examination leading to credentialing as a registered dietitian. So if you want more information about that program, contact Dr. Janet Antwi. She's the assistant professor and internship director. Um, she can be reached at 936-261-2536. And um, her email is jaantwi, A-N-T-W-I at P-V-A-M-U dot E-D-U. So I will provide that information in the chat for the dietetic internship. And then briefly, Ms. Ranieri, if you wanna provide any information regarding the practicum. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Sanders. So really quickly, all of our undergraduate um, nutrition and dietetic students need to do a semester long internship. We call it the practicum. Um, you'll start doing this, you'll start looking for a site um, in the junior or the spring semester of your junior year. And you can start doing your hours in the summer, carry it over to your senior year. Um, if you're taking, if you're a nutrition student, you're taking Introduction to Dietetics, we'll talk more about internship opportunities there and how to find one. And then I will be holding a meeting in January for all of my juniors who will be registering for the practicum. Um, and so if you're a freshman or sophomore and you want to learn a little bit more, you're welcome to contact me in advance, but it's something that you, know, you can start thinking about now and then you'll really start, you know, focusing on it once you're a junior. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Ranieri. All right, and the last things, I just wanted to provide students some things to consider. One, make sure you're obtaining the materials that you need for class and show up for class, either via Zoom, whatever method of instruction your class is allotted for, please be sure that you're prepared um, for class. Um, there, we do recommend that you wear a mask um, to make sure you're keeping everyone safe as well as yourself. Um, I do want to kind of stress the importance of a, appropriate attire in the classroom. So just make sure that um, you are presentable in the classroom and your clothing is not a distraction um, to your peers or your teachers. Um, just make sure your address is appropriate. I want you to stay connected and reach out to your faculty and staff for assistance whenever it's needed. Don't wait till you're in trouble. So make those connections early in the semester. These are the individuals that you will go to for letters of recommendation. And it's best that you really do have a relationship with your instructor so that they can um, really provide a good letter of reference for you. We do want you to um, join social, socially distanced study group. So stay connected and, and get educated as much as possible. 
um, throughout the semester, build relationships and connections across campus. So we want to make this a very productive but safe semester for you. And we want you to take in all that you can um, throughout the semester. And that's all that I have for you. Again, um, the information for joining the student organizations was um, dropped in the chat. So make sure I'll redrop it because it's kind of up in the chat box. So I'll repost it so that you can get that information from the student organizations. And I'm also going to share the last screen, which is thank you for coming and for joining us today but also um, for those who were not able to attend, we do have the information posted so that they can also um, join the student organizations of their choice. Ms. Right, Sanders, so um, can, can, I, can I just uh, speak for a, a minute? Yes. Uh, and I'm, I have I'm just sorry. one announcement. Uh, uh, hello, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Sunil Dhobadel. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of agribusiness here in the department. Uh, I have one announcement uh, that is related to agribusiness club. Uh, we are starting agribusiness club from this semester. So the first meeting is going to be held uh, next week. Uh, the flyers for the meeting will be out soon. Uh, and uh, if you want to uh, be active uh, in club activities, uh, which is uh, perfect learning opportunities uh, out of the class. So I encourage all of you to uh, go to that meeting that will be held uh, sometime next week. Mr. Uh, Robert Lewis, uh, another Ag Business students uh, will be sending out uh, that information very soon. So watch out uh, for that information that will be coming to your emails. Uh, so I again encourage all of you uh, to uh, join Ag Business uh, Club. Thank you. Thank you. And if there are any other faculty um, or staff that were that joined a little bit late and we didn't get a you didn't get a chance to introduce yourself, please take this opportunity to introduce yourself to the students. Well, I'm gonna probably call them to introduce themselves, you know, if no one is gonna. I see Dr. Ram Ray, you muted. Can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome all of you in this College of Agriculture and Human Science. And I hope that uh, it will be a great place to have pursue your degree and moving forward. Uh, this semester, I'm not teaching any course, but I'll be soon in the next semester, we'll meeting some of you. However, in the meantime, if you need any help or anything, working or looking for the undergraduate work, research work, <clears throat> please feel free to come to see us. We are located here. I am located in College Cooperative Agriculture Research Center, 120. Thank you very much. Have a great time. Take care, bye. Ali. Dr. Ferris. Hey, thank you, Dr. Adu. Uh, good, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Ali Ferris. I'm a professor of water security in the college here. Uh, I have many of you on the Fundamental of Agriculture Engineering course. So uh, welcome to the new academic year, 21-22. I hope you will have an excellent uh, fall semester and academic new year. Uh, I'd like to, uh, there are quite a few opportunities that are available to you uh, through our program. We have two, uh, our EEU, uh, one with Texas a and and one with University of Texas uh, would like, uh, at Austin. I'd like to see you take advantage of it. Some of you who are here took advantage of it and, and some of you very like it very well. We also have opportunities to, to uh, participate in uh, some national competition and uh, that uh, peer review a student in the College of Agriculture have been historically winning that competition and participating on that one. I will be forwarding some of that information to you throughout the semester. Welcome again, and uh, we, we are here to support you. If you need any help, let us know. Dr. Kidani. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Rado. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nubisa Kidane. 
I'm an assistant professor of animal science here. Uh, I teach animal science courses. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you, uh, some of you soon. Uh, in addition to, to teaching, I also do research in the Gold Center. So if you want to do some practical or see how research is conducted uh, using animals, you are welcome to the Gold Center uh, and the farm as well. We have uh, around 90 uh, beef cattle and around 300 goats. So, so if you are uh, interested in doing practical session, uh, you are well you are welcome to join us and the farm as well as the International Growth Center. Thank you so much. Dr. Ampin. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Peter Ampim and um, an assistant professor in the college. Uh, some of you in my class, you already know me, I'm teaching crop science this semester. It's a pleasure meeting all of you. I wish you a wonderful semester. If you have any questions and you think I can be of help, come talk to me. I do research on vegetables and small fruits. So if you're interested in getting some hands-on experiences, we always have plenty of opportunities for volunteering. So I wish you the best. And I will see you around. Thank you. Dr. Wall. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ripin Rawa, uh, Associate Professor. Uh, this semester, I'm teaching environmental soil science for two groups. Uh, I, I can see some of you are here. Uh, I'd like to say, uh, Welcome to all of you. And if you're like, my background is also uh, water resources and soil. We are working on many payloads and some other resource. If you are interested in working on this field, uh, you can contact me. Thank you. Thank you. And I see Dr. Laura, any faculty, am I missing any, we missing any faculty? Um, I think we've all introduced That's ourselves. It. Okay, uh, maybe if, who else? She left, Miss Abram just left for class. Okay, uh, if I see Dr. Laura Carson, I know you work a lot with our students. Uh, do you wanna say a, a few words, Dr. Carson? Uh, um. Dr. Adu, um, yeah, I am uh, Laura Carson and I do, uh, I'm the director for undergraduate research. Uh, in research compliance. And so I've, I've heard uh, a lot of people talk about volunteering. Uh, there is a, uh, a form that we must, uh, that you must uh, complete. I'll send that to Ms. Sanders so she can forward it to everybody that's on the call. So if you're interested in going out to, to work with Dr. Um, with Dr. M Ampim or Dr. Kadani, uh, there is a volunteer waiver form that must be completed. I look forward to, to working with you guys. I do work with the student garden. And so I, I will be sending forward the volunteer waiver form if anybody's interested. Thank you guys so very much. Okay. Did I miss anyone? Miss Adam Chandra, you wanna say hello quickly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, uh, Mrs. Sanders, for again uh, right. organizing this roundup. Again, welcome to the academic year and we wish you the very best. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you everyone. Thank you students for uh, taking the time out and participating in this event. We hope that the information we shared was very helpful. And if you need any assistance throughout the semester, please do not hesitate to reach out to our faculty and staff. We are here to start you. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye, thank you. Bye.